Tracking syndicate has been sentenced to life in prison, uh, so he is a member and he's been sentenced to life in the South Gauteng High Court. Wanda Masilela was also handed two five-year terms for kidnapping, 15 for aggravated robbery, six for illegal possession of a firearm and two for the illegal possession of ammunition. In the 2017 death of a top Johannesburg advocate, Mandla Zulu, deputy chair of the Duma Nokwe group of advocates, was shot and killed when he and his wife uh, were hijacked in Bryanston. In an exclusive post-sentencing interview with the SABC, the man who will now spend the rest of his life behind bars maintains his innocence. A repeat offender, Wanda Masilela, anticipating another heavy sentence. In that the accused and his co-perpetrators acted with a common purpose and committed the murder during the course of a robbery, imprisonment for life. I would be failing in my constitutional duty as a representative of the judicial pillar of the state if I did not give a judgment designed to ensure that no member of our society ever falls victim to the accused murderous tendencies again. It's a day that advocate Mandla Zulu's family has been waiting for. On behalf of the family, we are very happy even though we are not happy that much because there are some other um, six or five suspects which are still at large, hoping that one day um, they'll be brought into books. I believe that my sister, not even one culprit would have been caught, so we just want to give thanks to the judge and everybody that was involved. Zulu and his wife were ambushed by hijackers as their vehicle approached a stop sign in Bryanston. When Zulu tried to flee, he was shot. The men dragged him back into the car and drove off with him. They were dumped in Lone Hill and Zulu later died in hospital. A loss for the legal profession. One of the difficulties at the beginning was that most counsel could not take on the brief. Uh, because uh, they knew the deceased, so they couldn't really proceed with the matter. And some of the judges as well was, were known to, to him as well. Um, so we had to change counsel, I think, about two times or so uh, before we could start. So it delayed the matter by about four or five days, but eventually we managed to start. So once we started, then at least then things went through. So it's good that at least then, I mean, he was one of our own. He was a prosecutor as well at the beginning. He started as a, as a prosecutor. And then he was one of the uh, uh, brilliant legal minds. Masilela has two previous convictions, one for housebreaking in 2013 and another for theft in 2014. In his ruling, acting Judge Duplessis said Masilela showed no remorse for his actions. And it seems he's not about to change his stance. I've been found guilty because I'm a foreigner. That's all that I can say for so now. Do you dispute that you took part in uh, the killing of uh, Advocate Zulu? I was never even a part of it. A bitter pill to swallow for his family. In Hantic Down sentence, acting Judge Duplessis emphasized that it didn't matter if Advocate Zulu was a pauper or a king, his life was precious and described his murder as callous senseless and brutal. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News, at the South Gauteng High Court in Johannesburg.